Hey guys, how's it going? So, I just left my previous service call and I was the second opinion to uh, the customer. Uh, the company that was out there before me found that the refrigerant system didn't have any refrigerant in it. So they said that it is too old, don't fix it, uh, don't, don't spend any money on it, uh, don't find the leak, just replace it. Well, they didn't really trust the guy, so they had, uh, they called us, we came out there, and they asked me what I thought, um, it, it, it was a train system, and it was, uh, from 2003, uh, it looked to be in good condition, it was an R22 system, so, um, just getting a looking around, you know, I, I thought it was a good thing. Okay, so I told them, yeah, let's do a leak check. And um, lo and behold, I found the leak in the condenser and the capillary tubes. Uh, you know, they always rub if the installer doesn't put rubber techs in between them. So I went ahead and I fixed the leak. I pressure tested the system, let it sit for about an hour and 408 PSI and it did not move so then I went ahead and pulled the system on vacuum pulled it down to 230 microns and let it run for a little bit and then I isolated it from the pump and it never rose above 350 microns so I do believe I found the leak in the meantime I was inside you know checking uh, capacitor, static pressure, the indoor coil, drain lines, you know, amp draws, stuff like that. And clean the condenser coil. You know, I, um, I replaced the indoor fan uh, motor capacitor was getting a little low, replaced it. So, uh, all in all, their bill was $1,024. They were very happy. Um, I told them they could, you know, get a couple more years out of it. They had the money to replace it, but they just didn't want to, you know, spend the money on a perfectly good system that, you know, just had a, 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 a refrigerant leak. Well, um, tell me how old you all think equipment should be replaced and customers should not put the money into it. Um, I am a firm believer in fixing it. It's kind of job security for us, you know. There's a 16-year-old uh, heat pump. You know, that's, you know, probably, you know, probably ready to go. But, you know, if it's a 11-year-old heat pump, you know, I think that thing's got a couple more years, you know, especially if they have it maintenance. Well, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, maybe share it with a friend. How old is too old to replace, to fix your HVAC equipment? Thank you.